mercy on us now and at the hour of our death. Forgive me, Jesus, for I have sinned. Have mercy on us now and at the hour of our death. Forgive me, Jesus, for I have sinned. Have mercy on us now and at the hour of our death. Forgive me, Jesus, for I have sinned. Have mercy on us now and at the hour of our death. Forgive me, Jesus, for I have sinned. Have mercy on us now and at the hour of our death. Forgive me, Jesus, for I have sinned. Have mercy on us now and at the hour of our death. Forgive me, Jesus, I have sinned. Have mercy on us now and at the hour of our death. Forgive me, Jesus, I have sinned. Have mercy on us now and at the hour of our death. Forgive me, Jesus, I have sinned. Have mercy on us now and at the hour of our death. Forgive me, Jesus, I have sinned. Have mercy on us now and at the hour of our death. Forgive me, Jesus, I have sinned. Have mercy. Mercy. It's okay. I could never get used to that part of the job. The power and the glory. The threat of divine vengeance. But I persevered. I was about my father's business. And I was the good son. It was the morning of December 31st, 1999, when I returned, at last, to judge the living and the dead. Though still, and perhaps always, I had my doubts. Hello. Hello, checking in. We have a reservation. Well. No, sorry. What name is that reservation under? Mr. and Mrs. D.W. Griffith. Thank you, Mr. Griffith. And how many nights will you be staying? Just one. Look, I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. I feared my father's wrath. His love was a burden. He knew this about me too. My ambivalence. But we shared the blame, he and I. He made me a man as well as a god. And I felt myself 
well, blessed. This is the hour of trial, Magdalena. The good and the bad, together, they question themselves. And me? Yes, me. I wonder. I like this city. Call the lawyers. to pay for it. What, you mean right away? So? It's a distinct possibility. I've got $20, which I in fact borrowed from a friend riding on a vastly underrated long shot in the first race of the day. Cheer up, Mac. Tomorrow's a new millennium. Where's your holiday spirit? It's all over. Nah, it's just beginning. Pull yourself together. Here, take the sports section. You saw it, didn't you? What? In the sky. You know, you saw it too. You saw that? It's all over. What the hell was that? A sign. Of what? The end. The end of existence, reality, history, whatever you want to call it, it's finished, over, done. God's tolerance for you stupid human beings has reached its end. Edie, get my unbalanced friend here a cup of coffee, will ya? Will he be able to pay for it? Hey, Chuckles, you got any money? Rejoice, then, you heavens, and those of you who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you with great wrath, because he knows that his time is short. Revelation 12.12 12. Not my favorite passage. Many people believe the world is going to end tonight. You don't believe that, do you? There is a preacher on the radio, and that's all he ever talks about. He says that the planets and the stars are all lined up the right way now and that the prophecies have been fulfilled. And he said that when Jesus returns to earth, he's going to gather around him 144,000 good souls, and then destroy everyone else. Why do you listen to that crap? I like the hymns. Armageddon, Armageddon, and Jehoshaphat, how may I direct your call? Thank you. Armageddon, Armageddon, and Jehoshaphat, how may I direct your call? Thank you. Armageddon, Armageddon, and Jehoshaphat, how may I direct your call? He's not in right now. Can you call back later? I doubt it. Excuse me a minute. Can I help you? Hands out of your pockets. Thanks. Leave it there. Scram. Armageddon, Armageddon, and Joseph at home, may I direct your call? Please hold. Excuse me, sir, the call you're waiting for is on line two. Where the hell have you been? This is no time to hesitate. We've got trouble. Big trouble. The adversary won't settle for arbitration. He can take it to the regular courts and drag it out forever. Of course he's bluffing, but we're in no position to tempt fate. Look, you know what your father wants. Quit stalling. I remember the flood. Babel, Sodom and Gomorrah. It was before your time, Magdalena. My father, he is an angry god. To him, the law is everything. 
still to this day, attorneys are his favorites. Now let's get on with it. It will be ugly. The end of the world. Carnage like you've never seen before. An unimaginably immense cosmic catastrophe out of which, though, will arise a new world. Which will be nothing less than a new Eden. Because of our neglect of the Lord, we must be punished by famine and pestilence, war and captivity. We must be subjected to a judgment so severe that it will make a clean break with our guilty past. The day of wrath has come when the sun and the moon and the stars will be darkened, when the heavens are rolled up together and the earth is shaken. The day has come when the unbelievers are to be cast down and utterly destroyed. You lose? Hey, it was a long shot. Give me a break. Do you really want to win? Bug off. Use my money and buy a lottery ticket. You'll win. The lottery? What do you take me for? A compulsive gambler. A lonely, directionless human being. Forever at the mercy of your own insignificant hopes and dreams. Afraid to admit you need love, and too weak to accept it when it is offered? She pays for your unending coffees herself, you know. She doesn't want to cheat the boss. She gave you that jacket, too. I, I found this. Mm. You found it on the rack over there. So? So she bought it at a flea market in September and put it there, knowing you would eventually try to steal it. What if I win? You keep all the money. Sounds too good to be true. It is. I gotta think about it. Do you believe you have a soul? Who, me? Yeah. No. I have a mind. I have senses. The soul is only what we call our awareness of things, but it's really just a material phenomenon. So you don't think Edie has a soul either? Well, not in that. She's soulful. Full of soul. People don't have souls. It's uh, something from outside that they acquire. Yeah, that's it, sure. People aren't born with souls. No. People? We're material. Mechanisms. Biological accidents. Okay. Look. Let's say that if you win the lottery with my money, you keep all the cash. 
but tonight, when God destroys the world as we know it, Edie's soul goes to the devil and remains in hell for all eternity. Take a powder, creep. I'll be back. It's a lunatic. Thirty one nineteen ninety nine. Sure. Go ahead. Call me Petty. But one more good soul snatched away from the all-knowing unknowable is still another feather in my cap. So what if it's the last day of the world? I'm not gonna give in without a fight, come what may. Let God the Almighty rule eternity. My precincts are the minutes and hours of the everyday. And as long as people have hopes and dreams, well then, I'll have my work to do. God, 
Unfortunately. And you really believe the world's gonna end tonight? It's been prophesied. Then I saw in the right hand of the one seated on the throne a book with seven seals, and I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to break the seals thereof? What is a seal? It's kind of like a stamp. It sort of keeps the book shut. What's written in that book? The names of the 144,000 good souls who will be saved from eternal damnation. Then one of the elders said to me, do not weep. See, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has conquered so that he can open the book and its seven seals. And every time he opens one of those seals, he brings the apocalypse one step closer. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Seals one through four. Warfare, slaughter, famine, pestilence. Open a newspaper, see for yourselves. This is it. Three more to go. It's all over. Everything I worked so hard to achieve, wiped out. Shouldn't take it so hard. I've been misunderstood. They think I hold a grudge against humanity, but that's not it at all. I just happen to think that this is a good system, this tug of war between heaven and hell. It keeps people honest. How will I know the winning lottery numbers? They'll announce it on the radio. What numbers did you pick? Today's date, 12, 31, 1999. Excellent. My New Year's resolution is to give up gambling. But there isn't going to be a new year. Each one had been painful over the centuries. The bringing of war, death, famine, then pestilence. But this one, the fifth seal, this was the one I feared the most. When I had opened the fifth seal, I saw the souls of those who had been slaughtered 
for the Word of God. Sovereign Lord, holy and true, how long will it be before you judge and avenge our blood on the inhabitants of the earth? It was the darkest hour of a long, dark night of the soul, the chill center of divine callousness. What twisted fairy tale had I allowed myself to be tangled up into? What misplaced gratitude had I believed to be all? Why had I let these souls believe there was anything other than sacrifice? Why were they comforted with dreams of vengeance? Why hadn't I interfered more? Agitated, questioned, revolted. Panicked by both the legitimacy and the hopelessness of their cries, I rose to the occasion and lied. Rest a little while longer until the number of your fellows will be complete. Those who will die as you yourself have died for the word of God. So if we're all just biological accidents, how do you explain love? <laughs> love is a complex of perfectly concrete natural impulses. A survival mechanism. Exactly. In that case, I can understand why you love Edie, but why does Edie love you? Hey, watch it. Any purely biological unit attempting to mechanize its own survival would seem likely to pass you by. I'm sorry. You're less than reliable. Yeah, well, you can't imagine what that girl is capable of. Oh, I can imagine all too well. That's my problem. I can imagine everything too well. A person's capacity for sacrifice Someone's life ruined by a simple misunderstanding. The possibility of disaster and just reaching out to shake someone's hand. The crippling of a person's self-esteem by an overheard remark. How can I be responsible for all that? Every intimacy engenders expectation and every expectation some unknown disappointment. If the world were only as large as this room, okay, sure, then I'd be fine. But it's not. The world is infinite, expansive, and full of possibility. It's debilitating. We won. What? The lottery. Twelve thirty one. 1999.
Come on, CD. Uh, what are you gonna do with the, uh, all the money you've won? Oh, I had a dream. Um, when I came to New York, I saw many homeless people in the street, and I wanted to make soup. And I think uh, it's good for winter because people can be warm tonight. If they can have warm soup, like this cold, snowy day. Sure, sure. Now, now, what kind of soup is that? A uh, carrot soup. Yeah. No meat. Just, just vegetables. No, no meat, noodles no or meat. chicken like that or anything. Hmm. Maybe noodles is good. Yeah. Maybe good idea. Thirty minutes later, all vegetables get very soft and uh, mild, and I'm going to put the mixer and the onion stew. Sure. Oh, oh no! <laughs> She's I, 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 that's okay. You're gonna put them in a to mixer. Make hot potato. Oh right, right, right. All right let's let's oh, break this up. That's all right. Oh, all right. I think we have enough. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's okay. Can we oh, turn that off, that's please? Oh, that's a water. You have to put water. Where is he? What does he plan to do? Who does he think he is anyway? My client's authority rests on this threat alone. He can't just take things into his own hands and call off the apocalypse. We can't afford not to go all the way on this thing. But he is going all the way. Like at the beginning. Where is the Book of Life? Where is the Book of Life? I don't know. You see? This is what happens when you put responsibility into the hands of amateurs. He is willing to forgive. Completely. The way I remember it. He was on his way to the temple. He saw they were throwing stones at me. He asked them why they were doing this and they told him what I was. And what were you? Adulteress, whore, prostitute. Self-employed. He kneeled and looked at the ground. He said, let anyone among you who has not sinned be the first to throw a stone. Typical. He was writing something in the dirt and he would not look at me. The people began to leave, the old people first, then the young. We were there alone and there was no one around. I was looking at him, but he would not look at me. He was looking at the ground. He said, where are they? Has no one condemned you? And I told him, no, they're gone. Then, then he said, neither do I condemn you. Go your way, and from now on, do not sin. A likely story. Yeah. Right. New developments. Let her go, and get me Jerusalem on the line. I thought he had fallen in love with me. He's that kind of guy.
But how do you thank someone who has taken the Here, have a hot soup. I'm not hungry. Yeah, sure, not now, but later. You know how it is. You should give it to someone that needs it. We all need to eat. Got a light? Do you work for a charity organization? No. Uh, my girlfriend's idea. She's, you know, like... Terminally good. It should be remembered. Can I ask you a question? Okay. Do you think the world's gonna end tonight? It might. And do you think God's gonna save only the good souls and send everybody else to hell? That's what the prophets say. I think I gambled away my girlfriend's soul to the devil today by accident. Why? It's a long shot. I lost. Sorry. Look, I'm an atheist. How was I supposed to know he's the devil? They don't teach atheists stuff like that. I know someone who will help you. Excuse me, have you got a quarter for the phone? Thank you. Listen, I want to talk. Okay. When? Where? Right. I think so. Do you work for a charity organization? No, I'm rich. Really? Yes, very rich. Bye.
This is breaking the rules, you know. I work for the one who makes the rules. Yeah, well, I used to work for him, too. Until I quit. Started making my own rules. You didn't quit. You were fired. I won't do it. I refuse. What are you talking about? The apocalypse. Pull yourself together. You can't do that. Why not? Well, it, it's prophesied. I don't give a damn about the prophets. I never liked those guys anyway. We were supposed to change the world with love, compassion, and forgiveness, this divine vengeance crap is all wrong. Are you saying what I think you're saying? I won't judge the living and the dead. I hate this exclusive closed door policy. Who do these Christians think they are anyway? My friend, you speak heresy. Worse, revolution. What's that to you? Well, I have, uh as it were, merely a professional interest. If the current state of affairs is to continue, it'd be nice to know you were on my side. That will never happen. You have exiled yourself from paradise. We've allowed a huge misunderstanding to distort the soul of humanity. We? Hey, look, it wasn't my idea to give them souls. Without souls, they could have never invented us. That's true, and we are their greatest creation. There's no creation without responsibility. Ah, uh, yes. Remember Frankenstein. Faust. Rabbi Lowe of Prague. I imagined the truth of the gospel to be self-evident, but I had no idea it would be perverted by the very people who claimed to preach it in my name. You shouldn't take it so hard. People just like to kill each other. It's natural. No, you're generalizing. You can't do that with these human beings. They're too complex. Uh, that's how it starts. The allure of their free will, the infatuation, the thrill of infinite possibility, then before you know it, wham, you're addicted to human beings. I admire their persistence. It's amazing the things they do. They're inventing themselves now. Artificial intelligence and cyber genetics and so on. It's impressive, I admit. They're cross-fertilizing pears with apples and goats with sheeps, tobacco plants with lightning bugs. Now that's just stupid. Oh, I agree. But the potential for synthetically fabricated organic diseases is too good to be true. They'll be obsessed with themselves in entirely new ways now. And frankly, I think it's about time. That is, if there is time. There's time. You sure? There's time for these people to prove you wrong. I doubt it. You always do. Listen, I've got a better idea. As long as you're banished from the presence of the most perfect how many seals are left to open? Two. When he opened the sixth seal, I looked, and there came a great earthquake. Ah, uh, natural disasters, profitable. It's not that you're so despicable. It's that you're so amazingly trite. We can start a new religion. It seems to me it is the last thing these people need. What they need and what they want are two entirely different things. They want divine retribution, and they're willing to pay for it. I've been in the advertising business, so to speak, since the beginning, my idealistic young Nazarene. I'm a pro at telling people what they want to hear and somehow making them think that they've got to be talked into it. This, uh, you know, it flatters them. A human being doesn't want to be anybody's fool. The kings, the magnates, the generals, the powerful of the earth. They hid in the caves and the rocks of the mountains and called to the rocks and the mountains, fall on us and hide us from the wrath of God. A little dramatic, but I'm telling you, that is exactly what's going to happen. And we capitalize on that. Who else are they going to believe? We'll have the goods to tend their wounds, 
nurse their starving children, make sense of their suffering in general. Instantaneous, worldwide, total belief. And then, you know, eventually, of course, they'll be fighting amongst themselves. Ah, uh, some claiming to believe in a better and more effective way than the others, and a whole new era of prideful self-assertion will be ushered in, and the innocent will be persecuted right alongside the guilty, and nobody's gonna know what's right from wrong anymore, even though... Hey, where are you going? You bore me. Hey, listen, wise guy. You can never go home again. That's it. We're in the same boat now, you and me. Sink or swim. You're a man without a country. An exile. He was right. Nothing ever changes. No one ever learns. I thought maybe the apocalypse was a good idea after all. Where is it? Where's the book of life? <laughs> after all more human than me hard to read but I can't give up now I've come too close he has a weakness for sacrifice and I know I can work that angle I've got to get my hands on that book Edie, Magdalena. Magdalena, Edie. Hi. She knows someone who can help you. Do I need help? Yes. You're in a lot of trouble. Why? I'll explain later. He's not here. Will he be back? I don't know. I know he'd want to help. If he knew. Finally, the son of man. Sorry, I can't talk right now. We're in a hurry. There's no need to run. Yeah? That's what you think. The apocalypse would have been a holiday compared to what's going to happen now that you've become a traitor. I'm not a traitor, but I'm not a judge either. Why are you so sure that you would have been saved? I cut a deal. That was a compromise, certainly, but I was saved. And I've got the documents here somewhere to prove it. And you, you've gone and done the unthinkable. I'm sorry, but retribution seems so petty. I never thought it was a good idea to have God made flesh. It's messy. The human element, you know. Has it had no benefits? That depends on whether what you see out there is or is not an improvement on Imperial Rome. Now, personally, I couldn't stomach a Saturday afternoon at the Colosseum watching human beings being eaten alive by wild animals. Yes, it's had its benefits, but it needed to be carried through to the end. A threat is a threat. And this... This change of heart you've had suddenly. Well, this is a disaster. Yeah. What, here? Now? Shit. It's the Mormons. I'm out of here. You're on your own. 
Now, who are the Mormons? Where's the book? What have you done with it? It's not important. That's easy for you to say. I'm fallen now, too. Exiled. Further from God than you yourself. That doesn't make it any easier for the rest of us. It was never supposed to be easy! I was the victim of my own history. A pawn in my father's troubled empire. An insult to humanity's own godlike self-esteem. I ran for my life and waited for the walls to come tumbling down. Hello, Magdalena. Get your shoes off the bedspread. Where is it, Magdalena? I don't know what you're talking about. But if you're gonna hang around here, then make yourself useful. Open the champagne. Yeah. Here. I talked to your boyfriend today. You're so unimaginative. He told me you have the Book of Life. Liar. Hello, Edie. Are you really the devil? Yes, I am. Would you like some soup? She's a Buddhist. Oh, oh my god, is that him? Relax. Hello, uh, my name is Dave, and first of all, I'd just like to apologize for my entire existence. Give me the Book of Life. Fuck off. Don't do it. He's got Edie's soul. Who's Edie? She is. Konnichiwa. I thought you might be able to help them. Let go of Edie's soul, and I'll give you the Book of Life. No! It's a deal. Give it to him. Have you lost your mind? Thanks, ma'am. Don't mention it. This is a mistake. It'll just make things worse. Yes. It's a tragedy. But it's a beautiful thing, nevertheless. Oh, it doesn't get any better than this. It doesn't get any worse, either. We'll see. I was changing. Fast. Addicted, perhaps. To humanity. Hey, you! You know anything about computers? Little. Open this thing for me, will you? I've got uh, arthritis. Uh... Sorry, there seems to be some sort of lock on it. Give me that thing! I need this thing fixed. Sir, there's a line. Open it. We don't service that brand. That's not what it says on the sign outside. It's a foreign manufacturer. How foreign? Egyptian. Is it old? It's ancient, and the warranty's expired. I'm sorry. Next. Who 
Who said it first? Childlike innocence is not a viable alternative to despair. Those bastards in heaven. They think of everything. Hey! Is that it? Back off, pal. Listen, I know with the recent developments, no one could be sure of anything. It's a volatile time. Only the fittest will survive this time of transition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you getting at? It's my professional opinion that at this crucial juncture in your career, you need serious legal counsel. Of the kind only someone with my expertise can provide. You with him? That depends. Come on. And the new year arrived. The new millennium. Just another day in a lifetime of similar days. But each one of them crowded with possibility. The possibility of disaster. And the possibility of perfection. To be there amongst them again was good. The innocent and the guilty. All equally helpless. All perfectly lost. And, as frightening as it was to admit, all deserving of forgiveness. What would become of them, I wondered? In another hundred years, would they all be born in test tubes? Or perhaps evolve through computers to become groups of disembodied digital intelligence machines? Would they remember who I was? Would they remember what I said? Would it matter? Maybe someone else will come along and say pretty much the same thing. Would anyone notice? In a hundred years, would they be living on other planets? Would the Earth still exist? Would they engineer themselves genetically so that disease was a thing of the past? Would they all just become one big multi-ethnic race? Would they discover the secret of the universe? God? Would they become gods themselves? What will they eat? What sort of houses will they live in? Cities, think about it. What will the weather be like? Will they still have to go to work every day? What will they wear in the future? How smart will they get? And will being smarter make them happier? Will they all speak the same language in the future? Will they make love? Maybe there will be more than two sexes. Will they still believe life is sacred? Will it matter? Do we matter? When you 
swore your love The branches now decay Love to